the Scratch team actually has a YouTube channel and on here they post simple tutorials. Simple is probably over exaggerating it. How to make a virtual pet in Scratch. This has a million views. How to make a clicker game in Scratch. A million views. How to make a jumping game in Scratch. Three million views. I think I'm, I'm missing something here. How to make a pong game in Scratch. Has almost a million views. 11 minutes long. How to make pong. Literally. It's just bouncing a ball around on the screen. 10 minutes to show you how to do this. I'm going to be following this tutorial and seeing if I'm missing any secrets. Today, I'm going to relearn Scratch and I'm going to follow these terrible Scratch tutorials while I'm at it. So our host here is Zoe, also known as Zinnia, and she's going to show me how to make a Pong game. Let's get started. I'm so excited already. Come on. Uh, click the button that says choose a Scratch. Whoa. All right. So what do we do next? I can pick any object I want. What creative freedom I have here. Thank you, Zinnia. It could be a heart, or a pufferfish, or a star, or anything. Mm. You know, Champ99, he's looking really lonely. He could use a friend. I'm gonna choose him. Oh, and let's choose a backdrop. Okay, so we click on the button that says choose a back. I never knew how to do that before. Thank you for that. Absolutely anywhere that you would. Absolutely anywhere. You know, I'm, I think I'll go with this colorful city. That's a pretty cool backdrop. All right, so we have Champ99, the player. Pretty big, hopefully she'll tell me how to shrink it. Uh, so she didn't tell me how to shrink it. Let me see if I could, where do I shrink it? Where do I shrink it? I don't know. Maybe it's this direction. No. Oh, okay, we have this size. Uh oh, what is she doing? That Now I'm getting confused. Oh, she dragged out the block, move 10 steps. Oh, it moves it forward. You know, now I understand why this thing has half a million views. Who would realize that move 10 steps moves the player 10 steps? Simple things like explaining the obvious forever. Oh, I wonder what that does. Surely it can't mean it does everything forever. I can't believe there's actually people who don't understand that. If on edge bounce, what does that do? I wonder. <laughs> <gasps> it makes him bounce. Oh my god. Um, so champ, uh, you good? He's just going back and forth. Zinnia, what do I do? Help me, please. If you put this block in the forever loop, uh, the ball, when it hits the wall, it realizes, oh, I hit oh, the edge. Oh, so champ so 99 realizes, oh, I hit the edge. Gotta bounce. Now ball. he's pointing at 45 degrees. Uh, champ! Mm. We will make it start with green flag click. I never realized that's what it did. And pick any up. You know, this is a pretty hard decision. This is one of the most important decisions in my life. Sam. Just Sam. Yeah, I'll go with him. He looks lonely also. Oh, that's not a paddle. I think I'll have to make him wider. <laughs> Wide Sam, he is the paddle. Boom. Nah, he goes at the bottom of the screen. Right? Has a flat <laughs> if it has a flattish top. <laughs> yeah, how can we make the paddle go to a certain position? It must not be that block, right? I don't think so. I'll let her explain. I already know this, but X, this number, represents how far a sprite is from this side of the screen to that thing. Oh, okay, so we set X to mouse X. That makes sense. Imagine someone can understand that. Or better yet, imagine exactly 6,888 people can't understand that. Champ, you're, you're just passing through the paddle. I need you to like bounce off of it or something. First, let me make him smaller. He's too big. There we go. Okay. So let's make it actually so that the object bounces off the paddle. Here's how you can do that. How can we tell if the object touches the paddle? That, that can, this can't be it. That seems too easy, right? I think... It's too easy. I understand it too much. Well, we want it to bounce. And before there was that if on edge bounce block, but there's no if on paddle no, bounce block. So. Let's use our brain here. We're touching the paddle. No, that's Sam. This needs to be paddle. You're paddle, Sam. If we're touching the paddle, let's say, let's say we, we're doing this, right? We're touching the paddle. We just want to go the opposite direction, right? So we should rotate around. Right? We rotate around with this block. That This must be the rotate block. Uh-huh. So, if you want to rotate around, we would use... Oh, I don't know. But... What is bouncing? 
What is life? What is scratch? <gasps> I was right? No way! You'll go in the opposite direction from where you were going. 180 degrees is half of a circle. So if I'm like really hungry and I ask for some apple pie, I want half of the pie. I just ask for 180 degrees. Okay, Zinnia, I think I got it. So my next game is going to be oh 3D Fortnite. You guys, please subscribe when that drops. Hit the like button. Smash subscribe. One. What? Yo, Zinnia, uh, what's happening? The ball with the paddle, but it didn't bounce. So you, you it's not evil. Working. You knew the whole time why it wasn't working, but you subjected me to this pain. Champ is not bouncing off of, off of the power, and you knew the entire time. You're evil. This is corruption in its finest. She purposefully introduced me to my first bug in Scratch. So that the ball is always checking every second. Did I hit the paddle? Did, Did I, hit, I the hit the paddle? Did I hit the paddle? Did I hit the paddle? Yes! It works! Oh, yes! As a professional scratcher, why do you need the 0.5 seconds? But then again, that's just me. I haven't used scratch for seven years. Ugh, multiplication! Division! Actually though, what are these? I, haven't, I have no idea what are these. It does basically the exact same thing. I don't notice any difference. Let me make this more extreme. In the sprite library? So <laughs> There's actually a sprite called line. <laughs> I did not know that. It's just the line. I mean, it's not like you could go here and just draw a rectangle as a line. Someone actually didn't know how to draw a rectangle. So they just added the lines, right? Uh, if you click and add that to your project, you can drag it to the bottom of the screen. We're going to do multiple levels. Now that's getting kind of fancy. I think that's outside of my programming range. That's me right now when I learn about variables. <laughs> I'm gonna share this and it's gonna get on the explore page, right? Right? Right, Scratch? Now he's just running in a straight line. <laughs> what did I do? Beam. This is kind of fun. So this block will make the project wait until this thing happens before it does the next block you put under it. This all is making kind of a lot of sense. The next backdrop. And uh, you can add another backdrop to be- Add another backdrop? Say less. Oh, let's see. So the next level. What champ is it going to be in space? Okay, next backdrop. This is the most anticipated moment in human history. When we get to five points, I'm going to be so excited. Okay, three, three. Champ, stop fooling around. I need to get to five points. Boom. Okay, five. five. The white background. Wait, what? actually, the what? Oh, it's because I have this. I need to delete that. I'm pretty sure. <gasps> no way. Okay, now, I figure when we get to the next uh, level, let's use our common sense here. Because this tutorial is devoid of all common sense. Zinea, you are devoid of all common sense. I'm gonna use my common sense and make us move faster when when we go to five repeat until we're gonna keep on moving until our score is more than five when it is less than um 10 30 steps that should be faster wait, let me make this three wait wait what 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 okay and then repeat until score is more than 10. why champ gotta do me like that come on i just want to get three points hurry up champ you are taking your dear time huh Bro just bounced into the ground. Stop, 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 stop. Okay, I'm done. Let's go. This is, yeah, I'll share it. Love and favorite. Also, thank you for watching. Be sure to join my channel membership to get premium access. Also, make sure to like and subscribe if you want more videos like this. Thank you guys for watching. Post any ideas you have for future videos like these in the comments, and I'll see you in another video.